Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you how to make this. It kind of looks three-dimensional, and I'm going to call this the triple clone because I'm going to clone three different times. I always start in the center of the page. I'm going to get a two-point line and go from the center straight up. But then I'm going to go to edit and clone it. And I am going to double click on the rotation and put the rotation in the center. Now I'm going to rotate it 10 degrees. Control D. And then I can just control D all the way around. And what that did, this line here is my control curve. So I can grab the shape tool and go right here and well, I have to actually select the nodes and go right here to convert it to a curve. And then when we do that, we'll have these handles and I can do this. Pretty cool. And, you know, you can't, you can't get into the next one because it, it's just working equally. Now, also because I've stayed in the center of the page, I can draw an ellipse and hit P. And then I can go Control D to make a duplicate. While holding down the shift key, I can make it grow hourly. Just stop short of that. Now, one of the key things to do is to group this together, control G. That way we can mark that with the smart fill tool and move that out of the way. Now I'm gonna clone this. And I'm gonna move the center rotation to the center. And if you don't hit that X, the shape tool will take over. Like I just did again. Hit that X right there. And now we're in. Now I'm going to rotate it 20 degrees. So it'll have a space. And then I'm going to control D and make it 40 degrees. Control D. And what's good about this, this is going to be a clone that we can change the color later when we get it ready. So now what I'm gonna do, let me move this one out of the way. I am gonna make a duplicate of this and I am going to take this one and make it blue. And now it made all those blue. Now I can pretty much select them all and mirror it. But really I only want one of them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete these other ones. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to get it to match up perfectly, and I could do this. Well, easier to send it. If I hit the Alt key, I could. So I'm going to hit the Alt key, swipe through here, and anything it touches. Because I really just want that one right now. Now I'm going to nudge this back over. I am going to go to Object in Order and put that to the back of the page. And here's what you can see by just having one. I need to match up this blue one with the edge of that. So I'm going to double click on the rotation. And we're there. Now kind of zoom in. And then double click on it and you'll get this. And grab that handle and go right to there. And make it, make it dead on. Don't have you a little bit of uh, something sitting over there. And you can grab that node and move it. This would be really hard to do it with of all the other ones. So now what we can do, and look our look at our, our rotation. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to edit and clone this one. Double click on the rotation, it's still there. And now I'm going to go 173.204 plus 20. And look what it did. And then I can control D all the way around. Now by doing that, we can take this control curve and we can get the interactive fill tool and we can play around with it and see what it did. It made all of them like that. You can add a few more, you know, put some darkness in the middle. Uh, I'm going to dress this up kind of funny looking maybe, but you'll get the idea of what you can do. And if you want to go further down, you can go further down. That's pretty gaudy looking, but it's good enough for right now. Now what's good about this, this is a control curve here. So we could actually play a little bit with the interactive field tool 
on it and actually put, you know, just sometimes the interactive field tool gives me a little problems. Let me just back up here. What I want to do is put some black up here and then put a little bit of light gray here. Maybe let's go all the way. Maybe it's not, maybe, maybe I ought to really just leave that black because it really looks better black. So I'm just going to back up to it was all black. I think that looks good enough. But you could still, you know, you can clone the out, you know, as long as you keep hitting this, and go back to your interactive fill tool, you can change what that looks like. We could add a little red here. We could put a, you know, like a burnt orange on the very edge. Uh, and because, you know, bring that in. And really play around with it. But if it does not look like a 3D ribbon, um, it's pretty cool effect. Kind of fun to play with. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.